Hey, what's up everybody? Sean here and I'm here today to take a look at this Gibson Les Paul Jr. Tribute Double Cut. It's new for 2019 and it sounds great. It's almost 2019, so the new models are out. You get the usual Gibson Les Paul standards, etc., etc. But when I saw this was being released, I was really excited. This guitar new is about $799, which I think is still a little steep for what you get on this guitar. So if you get it for use off of reverb in mint condition, maybe for like 500 something, which was worth around I got it for, then it's worth it. All right, so let's do a quick overview of the specs on this guitar. So let's start off with the color. This guitar comes in a beautiful blue stain, which is my favorite color out of all the colors that they offer this year. The other colors being worn brown, worn cherry, and worn ebony. This guitar comes with a mahogany body and a beautiful satin nitrocellulose finish. I'm a really big fan of this finish because it preserves the wood grain. You can see it very clearly through the guitar. In fact, if you rub your hand over the guitar, you can still feel the wood grain too. This year's model comes with a maple neck, and I've seen some people get salty online about that, but at the end of the day, when you're jamming with your friends, you're enjoying your music, you're playing riffs, having a good time, I don't think that's gonna ruin this guitar for you, is it? This guitar comes with Gibson Slim Taper Profile Neck, which is great for playability. It's very, very comfortable to play, just like the other years, and it comes with a rosewood fingerboard. We have our dot inlays here. It's a pretty standard neck for a Les Paul Jr. We've got 22 low and cryogenically treated frets now. Gibson says these frets are cryogenically treated, which will make them last a lot longer. That remains to be seen, but if that's true, then that's great because refretting sucks. This guitar has a single Gibson P90 pickup on it, and I was really surprised by how much I liked this P90 pickup. A lot of the P90s I've played in the past are kind of thin sounding, a little too trebly for my taste, but this one is really beefy, and I really enjoy it, and it's a lot more versatile than I thought it would be. If you're playing blues, slide guitar, punk rock, I think you'll really like this guitar because of that pickup. This guitar comes with a Tectoid nut and vintage deluxe tuning machines. A lot of people complain about Gibsons and their tuning stability, but I have not had any troubles with this guitar thus far. We have this compensated wraparound bridge. A lot of people like individual saddles because you get a little more versatility in your setup, but I have no complaints about this bridge at all. This Gibson has a 24.75 inch scale length, which is very standard for Gibsons. It comes with a Gibson USA gig bag, which is a little disappointing to me because I think it's a little cringy if you're paying $7.99 for this new and you only get a gig bag. I think once you're in that price range, you should start providing cases. That's just my opinion. Whatever your opinion of this guitar is or its pick guard, they're gonna sell a lot of these guitars. Is this guitar a winner for Gibson? Absolutely, they're gonna make a lot of money off of these guitars. Is it worth $7.99 new? I would say no. I would say go on Reverb, go on eBay. It's 2018, we have the internet. The huge market has never been this great for guitars, basses, drums. Pay $550 for this guitar, $575. You'll be able to find it for that price within a few months for sure. So there you have it, a quick overview of this guitar and I guess a little bit of financial advice. So to end this video, I'm gonna give you some sound samples of this guitar going through an orange TH100 head. Take care, guys. <laughs>
Thank you.